He was Australia's first international Indigenous activist, but very little is known about Anthony Fernando. Now three of his handwritten notebooks are shedding new light on the life and times of the Aboriginal pioneer. He's a man of mystery and intrigue. In fact, this faceless portrait is the only image of the first Indigenous activist to campaign overseas. He reshapes our understanding of the first half of the 20th century in terms of we now have an Aboriginal spokesperson um, on the streets of London, in Rome, um, in Switzerland. Anthony Martin Fernando travelled from Sydney throughout Europe from the 1890s, publicising the plight of his people at home. He used his networks, he used the media to the utmost advantage, including, of course, protesting. It's one particular protest that's captured the attention of many. He stood on the pavement outside Australia House for what we believe is many years, wearing a long black overcoat, and on the overcoat are pinned those little skeletons. He was gesturing to passers-by and saying, this is what's left of my people in Australia. I thought that was such a remarkable protest that I set out to try and find out more of his story. That quest saw Fiona Paisley travel the world, pouring through archives. The gem of her discoveries, three journals, written with the hand of the pioneer activist world affairs, um, his views on the Old Testament and um, uh, the God's wrath would land upon the British and the British Empire, uh, what was happening to Aboriginal people on the frontier. The pieces now have a permanent home where they'll be preserved and digitised for the world to see. It makes us think again about our assumptions about um, Aboriginal history and Aboriginal political activism slowly but surely filling the gaps of this forgotten history. Jessica Nairn, ABC News, Canberra.